Hello friends, this is Mahita. Welcome to Smart Education in Your Hands. Today, in this video, we are going to learn about is electrical engineering good optional for UPSC or not. Okay, and we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of taking electrical engineering as an optional. In order to know this, all the details about electrical engineering optional, you have to watch this video completely. Okay, before moving on to the subject, if you are new to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this. Okay, let's start our video. And why to choose electrical engineering as an optional in UPSC? As a graduate of the same subject, you would not have to start from the scratch. Being an engineering subject, it is technical in nature and hence scoring. There is no room for interpretation in this subject, unlike the humanities subject. Okay, and who can choose electrical engineering? Means the subject is mainly chosen by engineering graduates who are aspiring for IAS. If you do not have a technical background that is specific to the subject, it is better to steer clear of this optional and uh, if you have strong grip in electrical engineering subjects then better you would go for it and it is the best optional available in UPSC okay and what are the advantages of taking electrical engineering as an optional means uh, it is a technical subject so there is no scope for the examiner's interpretation in generally very scoring it is very scoring subject and even diagrams and circuit drawing flow charts and numerical can support your answer and hence you have much more scope to substantiate your answer better okay and the theories related to electrical engineering are very scoring okay and one of the most important advantages is almost 50% of the questions are repeated from the previous years. Therefore, if you can solve the past 5 to 7 years of electrical engineering optional papers with 100% accuracy, you can expect to get more than average marks through these optional papers. And uh, simultaneous preparation for IES. These are the main advantages of taking UPSC optional as electrical engineering okay and every coin has two sides and also there are some disadvantages taking electrical engineering as optional and they are like the subject is tough and the subject does not overlap with your IAS prelims and general studies papers and the syllabus is vast if you are no longer in touch with the basics of the subject or studies related to the subject, the syllabus will prove to be very challenging indeed. Okay. And if you are willing to take electrical engineering as optional, then first step you have to know is know your syllabus. Before you began your preparation, it is essential to get familiar with the syllabus. Electrical engineering syllabus is vast for both Papa 1 and Papa 2. The following are the umbrella topics which you will have to study in detail to ace this optional. And the Papa 1 is containing the circuit theory, signals and systems, EM theory, analog electronics, digital electronics, energy conservations, power electronics, and log communication and the paper 2 contains control systems microprocessors and microcontrollers measurement and instrumentation power system anal analysis and control power system protection and digital communications and i will show you the mark list of 2017 topper singa reddy rushikesh reddy and uh, you can observe in his marks see here the optional subjects he scored highest marks see here among all other subjects he he got high marks in optionals only so electrical engineering optional is very good if you take it as an optional in upsc hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching if you like this video then please like share and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you